Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I actually want to talk about a theory that I saw online and I actually saw it from Screen Rant. I will leave a link down below to the article. Definitely go and check it out here. They actually talk about some different things regarding this theory here. I just kind of wanted to go based off of the main idea here, which is what if the phone that Rick, you know, threw onto the boat and then eventually Michonne found what if it has like secret intel on there, you know, about the CRM and stuff like that? So I want to talk about that idea because it's a really interesting idea. Again, I'll leave a link down below to the article. This is where I saw it first. And I mean, man, honestly, really incredible theory. I can actually see this actually playing a really important role in the actual story of the of the first season of this show. So yeah, anyways, before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walk Dead content like this. I just saw that the Last of Us trailer just came out, so I'm going to break that down after this, so just stay tuned for that. It actually looks really incredible. The show's dropping in just over a month, like a month and 12 days or something like that. So I'm very, very excited for this. I cannot wait for this show. Honestly, I, like I haven't really been this hyped for a show besides like Walking Dead stuff in like a really long time. Like there has been a lot of shows that I've really been interested in watching for the last couple of years but this one here because it is like the zombie apocalypse and I just love this story and obviously I love the zombie genre I'm excited for this I really can't wait because I'm going to be reviewing every single episode breaking down every single trailer anything that drops for the show I'll be doing a lot of videos throughout the week on it as well because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening in here it's not just based off of the games they've actually been doing some interviews and stuff and there was a lot of original material that was in the original game that actually never made it to the actual game. And so a lot of that stuff you're actually gonna see here on the show. So yeah, I'm excited to talk about all of that here, but let's let's get into this idea here that I saw. So again, I'll leave a link down below to the, to the article here by Screen Rant. But the question I have for you, I guess, is does the phone that Michonne has, you know, from Rick, have secret information on there regarding the CRM. I, I really like this idea because it really takes that simple thing that she found in season 10 and makes it a bigger part of the story. And I was thinking about this quite a bit, you know, how is Michonne going to find him, right? The CRM is a massive place. Yeah, there could be people that know of him and this and that, but it's going to be very hard for Michonne to actually find Rick unless Rick left a bunch of clues everywhere and, and was sending out information on how to find him. I think that's how you do it, right? And so I could see, you know, with this phone, yeah, there's a picture of Michonne and Judith on it, but what if there's actually something inside? Like, what if you charge the phone and there was a lot of information on there? So let's actually talk about that. Like, what kind of information could there be on here? I know the one idea that's sort of out there that I've been seeing people talk about is like, you know, in terms of World Beyond, we saw them wiping out a bunch of communities. So it could just be more like damaging information on the, on the Civic Republic like that. I don't really see that being the case though like to me i mean maybe it could be that but if anything i really view it like maybe there's some sort of escape plan or something right maybe rick has a bunch of maps on that phone right and just stuff you know regarding how to get into this place this and that it could be outdated but there still could be some stuff there regarding how to get inside the crm and just what to do once you're there certain people in charge and what's happening here you know certain things that have been happening with rick and whatnot i could totally see that being the case right like imagine the moment if it actually does happen maybe it doesn't happen in episode one but maybe it happens in episode three or something like that but maybe michonne finds a charger or something like that and she's like okay we gotta charge this phone up right or maybe she doesn't find it yet but maybe she's just like we gotta charge this phone and then so she goes to look for a charger and then eventually finds one charges it up and then actually sees a bunch of stuff on the phone that rick put on there in just like folders and files and stuff maybe there was pictures he was taking of certain regions of the civic republic and stuff like that like there could be a lot of stuff on that phone that would give michonne and maybe her new group if they are on our side because again we don't know anything about the group but it would give michonne so much information on how to find him and what's going on there. And I think that's a good start because once you find all that information out, you can actually go to those places and maybe it's been years so Rick's gone, but maybe when she goes there, she finds out from people that have known him, you know, where he was taken, this and that. And then there's that slow build to eventually finding Rick, right? Like, how awesome would that be? I think that would actually be really, really incredible. There could also be some information on there about leaders like Major General Beale. Because we don't know, first of all, we don't know who's playing Major General Beale right now. I know a lot of people want Gus from Breaking Bad. I think that would be perfect casting. But yeah, I think that's something that they're doing right now. Honestly, they may have even cast for the role already. We'll have to see because they're filming in just a month from now. So I do expect at some point it could even happen this month, probably next month, though. You know, they're going to announce like a bunch of cast members and stuff like that. Unless they want to keep it secret and hold it off until like Comic-Con next year. Like for sure, Comic-Con next summer 
is going to be massive for this show. We're going to get a bunch of information on the actual story because right now it's pretty vague, right? It's just Michonne's out there trying to find Rick. Rick is held captive by the CRM. So what happens now, right? We know they're going to find each other in, in this season, right? Like we know that they're going to find each other. How soon? I mean, I think they're going to build up to it for sure. It's not going to happen immediately. I think it's going to be something that does happen probably in the finale. Like, I think there's going to be a bunch of stuff that happens to them separately. Them dealing with the CRM in their own ways, trying to find each other. They're going to really build up that tension, really build up that hype, you know, episode to episode. So that in the finale, they find each other and it's this crazy emotional moment, right? And then that's when I think they're going to renew it for season two. Because, you know, there's a big story here with the CRM. It's not necessarily just them trying to escape. They have to kind of take this place down, right? Like, they have to take down Major General Beale. Because the thing about all of it here is if they don't do that, the CRM will always be a threat to, to Alexandria, right? Then you have to worry about a lot of that because I know Jadis has talked about things like that where you don't go back to places like that because if you try to, then literally like the CRM will destroy that place, right? And they've destroyed bigger places, right? And there's also probably an awareness of the Commonwealth and stuff too. So but there's a lot of that you have to take into question. But that's why I think there's going to be a season two because I think season one is going to introduce a lot of the threats, a lot of what they're dealing with. It's going to be a really awesome story, but I think it's going to really focus on Rick and Michonne trying to find each other so that in the end they actually will in the finale and it's going to be one of those scenes that I think is going to be super iconic honestly I mean there's a lot of information that Rick needs to find out there's a lot of stuff that Michonne doesn't even know because she left in season 10 right there's a lot of stuff that they dealt with afterwards but like Rick doesn't even know he has a son like that's going to be shocking to him and I I just can't wait for that for him to realize like I have a son He's named after me. You know what I mean? Like crazy emotional moment. That's going to be one of the honestly, probably a very iconic scene. It's going to be a scene that people talk about forever. Another question I do have as well is how much of a role will Jadis play in all of this stuff, right? Is she a one episode type of character or is she actually going to play a pretty big role in the overall story here? I hope that she plays a role in the overall story, and that's why I think a lot of us want this show to be like three or four seasons, because I know it's going to end Rick and Michonne's story, I get it, and I'm totally fine with that, I think a lot of us are, but I don't want it to be just six episodes, because there's so much stuff here, right? Like, Jadis could die at the end of season one or at the end of season two. Right? Like they could actually do something like that. They could introduce other characters. They could have other characters from Fear the Walking Dead, like Morgan, show up in season two or in season three. There's so much that they're able to do here with this show, and they could end it properly. Six episodes isn't enough. It, it really isn't enough. And that's why I think that the success of this show is really going to make AMC want to renew this for season two, for sure. Andy and Denai, I'm sure, are aware of that. I'm sure they're aware that if this show does succeed, they're likely going to be doing something else. Like, it's a limited series right now, but I'm sure AMC is going to be asking them, like, we should do another season for sure. They probably already had those talks, you know? Like, I know EW said something around the time when they announced it that they reached out to AMC and they learned that this will be the first season of a continuing series or something like that. And if you actually read the, the press release, it does say, you know, it's going to begin with six episodes in 2023. I've talked about this before, but I really think when it says limited series, it really means more of like, maybe there's not a, a strict release window, right? Like maybe it doesn't come out every single October. Maybe it comes out October 2023, and then the next time it comes out is like March or April 2025, right? Maybe it comes out like every year and a half. Maybe sometimes it's like nine months later or whatever. Probably won't be that. Or maybe sometimes it's two years later, right? Like it might be one of those things where it's going to be three or four seasons, but it's six episodes each, but it's just sort of whenever they want to do it. They'll get all the reunions. They'll do everything that they want to do. And I actually think this probably works a little bit better because you do extend the overall story here with the Walking Dead universe, right? In terms of stuff happening with the Daryl Dixon show. Like, if you want that show to go on a little bit longer and stuff. So, I'm really interested in what they have planned here. I mean, obviously, we just got to focus more on this first season here. But like I said, I do think, like, I want Jadis to play a really big role here. There's so much story here that you really cannot wrap any of this up here in just one season. But going back to what we were talking about originally, you know, I think the thing is about the phone idea, it's a really, really cool idea. And I actually think it's something that could work really well in the actual story here, right? The phone is likely going to play a pretty big role in this story. Like, if you just think about it, it is really all Michonne has of Rick right now. It's just that phone. Like, like she has the boots and stuff like that, but that phone is so, so important because it was something that he made afterwards, right? It was something that 
he made to to give her a sign that he was actually alive out there. And I just, I really wonder if there is something on the phone, honestly. Like, her big goal in the first episode, two, three episodes or something, could be to find a charger. Like, it literally might be that simple. Like, we gotta find a charger, because if we can actually charge this, then we can find out some really awesome information. That'll probably be in, a, like, a one-episode thing, but maybe this new group that she's with is gonna help her, right? Because who is this new group? How can they help her? Are they going to help her? Maybe she's with them for different reasons and she sort of has to hide why she's actually there. I don't know. It's really hard to say. Like, I don't know why Michonne's with that group. We don't know anything about that group. So yeah, we just got to learn a lot more information there. And I'm just very, very excited. Like, that's something that we could learn at Comic-Con, to be honest. Like, they might actually get into some information about that group, about just the situations that they're in. Because remember, we're going to get a trailer. So there's going to be some stuff in that trailer that really shows what Rick's been up to, right? Like, people that Rick's with. We're going to learn his whole situation, where he's been living for however many years. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen in that trailer. They could reveal a bunch of stuff beforehand as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, January is going to be so exciting because they're going to be filming all this stuff. Like, they're starting then. They'll probably go through until, like, what, May or something like that? May, June at the latest. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like, this is going to be so much fun. So, anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Definitely post your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.